Hornets, I'm Alicia. And I'm Sabine. This week, KBTV looks at student and staff summer plans, how staff prepare for next year, eighth grade advice, and what eighth graders will miss most. All coming up right now on KBTV, Keeling's number one source of information. Tuesday, so it's a news day. Here's the buzz for this week. The celebration for eighth graders is this Thursday, June the 1st. Our eighth graders have worked so hard these few years. KTV investigates what our eighth graders will miss most. Well, I don't know. I'm going to miss all of the amazing teachers and classes and all of my good friends. I'm going to miss the choir program at Keeling and Miss Parks. Something I'm going to miss about Keeling is my teachers. I'm going to miss Miss Romero and staff here. I'm going to miss my friends a lot. And I'm going to miss, mostly miss like my favorite teachers and like seventh graders and my friends. I'm going to miss Miss Morledge and Miss Parks. I'm going to miss all my friends. Uh, the thing I'm probably going to miss the most is the, class, the classmates that I've grown to, to become friends with. I am going to miss the friends who aren't going to go to the same high school that I am. I'm going to miss Mr. Barton and his incredible puns. Uh, I'm going to miss all my friends because some of them aren't going to the same high school and I'm going to miss Miss Morledge. I'm going to miss my friends. After the 8th grade celebration comes summertime. KBTV takes a look at what some students' plans for the summer are going to be. Summer relaxation can mean a lot of different activities. Many people like to swim, read, or just relax. Let's see what Keeling students are doing this summer. I'm going to Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. Um, I plan to go swimming and go... Um, I'm going to go to Six Flags. Uh, I plan to go swimming and go to summer camp. I am going to Australia this summer. No matter what your summer plans are, KBTV hopes that you have a great time. This has been Six Mag reporting for KBTV. Incoming Keeling students and 8th graders going to high school should check their school's website to find out about transition camps. Students aren't the only ones who get the summer off. Let's take a look at what our hardworking staff plans on doing this summer. Just like our students, our teachers get a break from school over the summer to do things they are interested in. They can spend this time to do anything they want to pursue, which takes many of our own teachers to amazing places. These places may be in our hometown or around the world. KBTV investigates on how Keeling teachers plan on spending their summers. Well, probably be a mix of um, some reading and some fishing uh, on the coast. This summer, Mr. Nadenberg, myself, and our daughter are going to Israel in the Middle East to coach an ultimate Frisbee camp that is half Israeli Jewish kids and half Arab Palestinian kids. So it's a really powerful ultimate camp called Ultimate Peace. And the goal of the camp is to um, build friendships among these, the, these conflicted populations. I'm going to visit some friends in LA and uh, Brooklyn. So this summer I'm gonna be working at the Texas Advanced Computing Center as a teacher intern. I will be volunteering in Nepal with a nonprofit organization called Volunteer Initiative Nepal. And I'll be teaching art there for three weeks. I'm going to five different weddings and a week-long training at the University of Colorado in Boulder for social studies. This summer, I'm going to Florida to visit my nephews. KBTV wishes students a great summer and break from school. Hopefully, you can spend your time doing things that you love, just like these teachers. This has been Alec Lutman, reporting for KBTV News. Eighth graders have been through a lot this year. Let's find out some of their advice to incoming sixth graders. Starting middle school is hard, especially when you don't know what to expect from it. Some kids, however, know exactly what lies ahead for their journey of our future Hornets. This is what our Keeling 8th graders have to say to the new Hornets based off of their experiences through middle school. My advice to incoming 6th graders would be that if there's a set of two uh, water fountains, pick the one that's shorter because it always has colder water. So always buy your yearbook at least once in 
year three years, even if you think you won't want one, because it's always nice to have those memories to look back on and those friends to see. Do the spring musical because you make so many friends, and I did it this year, and even after it was done, I still have people that come up to me and they say hello, and you have a bunch of new friends. Relax more, and even if you get a bad grade on something, you just have to work to get a better grade later, but it's not stress. Hopefully this advice can help young Hornets on their adventures through middle school as our 8th graders prepare themselves for their next adventure, high school, and beyond. This has been Celia Bush, reporting for KBTV. After the school year ends, teachers do a lot of work to make the next school year even better. Let's take a look at how teachers prepare for the next school year. Despite what students may think, teachers don't spend their entire summers at school. However, they do work on preparing for the coming year. KBTV takes a closer look at what teachers do to make sure each year is more successful than the last. I'm Professora Aurora Flores Walski. I teach Spanish 1A, Spanish 1, and Spanish 2. First, I have to rest, so I rest a lot. Sometimes I go on trips to different countries, which is awesome, because then I come back with these great stories to tell the students. But when I'm not doing that, or I don't have any money to travel, um, I go to professional development uh, to learn more. We can always learn some more to be, become a better teacher. And I also uh, work upstairs uh, on my computer, coming up with new activities, coming up with quizzes, coming up with tests, coming up with anything that will entertain and teach students for next following year. I teach English, sixth grade English, and I teach Teen Rights and the Law and Girl Power and Percy Jackson and Explore Austin. I, th I think that's it. <laughs> Honestly, to prepare for next year, I try to forget all about Keeling. So I go home, I fish, I do yoga, I swim, I read a lot of books. Um, but on, uh, in reading the books, I try to read things that the kids might want to read too. Over the summer, first relax a little bit and reflect on the last year. Then I'll try to kind of take a little bit of a break from school <laughs> so that I can refresh a little bit and spend time with my family and travel. And then I might take a class, sometimes I've taken a class online or I might sign up for a class through the school district. Then I start getting myself organized for the next year. Wow, it seems like teachers never get a break. They make the impossible possible. This has been Sadie Schriffman reporting for KBTV. Now, back to Alicia and Sabine. Thanks, Sophia. Now for all the teachers who have summer birthdays. Happy birthday to Miss Kepner, Miss Jones, Miss Warshower, Miss Ventura, Miss Tasneem, Mr. Nishida, Mr. Chavez, Mr. Aparicio, Miss Stewart, Miss Carter, Mr. Hinojosa, Mr. McCormick, and Miss Parks. Thanks for watching, Hornets. I'm Sabine. And I'm Alicia, reporting from the Hornets Nest. And we're the Hornets best. Have a great summer. Thanks for watching, Hornets. I'm Sabine. And I'm Alicia, reporting from the Hornets Nest. And we're the Hornets best. Have a great summer, and we'll see you never. Because we're going to high school. <laughs>